So when we also talk about the resolution of this model, you said you went to a three kilometer, you wanted to make sure it was the highest resolution possible. Correct. Why 3K? Why not go to 4K? Why not go to 5K? So, so the 3K is a, an important portion to bring up with this, is that the 3K is a grid size with the model that allows us to initiate precipitation within the grid. So it provides better precipitation forecast than you can get with a four kilometer, five kilometer, six kilometer model. That's why you see models such as the high resolution rapid refresh from the National Weather Service run at three kilometers as well. So we felt that was a sweet spot for the model was that three kilometer resolution. And do you, do you see that that three kilometer resolution helps us with all of the products across the board or there are specific ones that are, like you mentioned the precip one, but obviously having that resolution is gonna be helpful in all those other products. Yeah, I think it makes all the variables from the model more accurate, but primarily that initiation of precipitation at the beginning, the start time of the model, it helps to initiate that precipitation sooner uh, directly into the model. So that's where the main impact is seen is with the precipitation output. You mentioned the aesthetics of it. One of the things that we've talked about is that when we look at it, especially on a regional level, it's hard to separate the model from say a composite radar. And that's been important for our broadcast clients especially. Right, I, I think that was one of the things that we're most proud of is that when you look at the model, you almost think you're looking at radar images, current radar images. So the visual appeal of the model, making it look like real weather that you're actually able to verify against has been very important. I think all of our customers will see that in the model themselves and, and be as, as equally as impressed with that as we are. Now you talk about the national grid being that three kilometer. In the past, what we've offered is a sectional cutout to cover the area of interest and we've had a three kilometer for that section. This does open up a large opportunity to go to other places in the country and still have that high resolution return of data. Correct, so a couple of the things we had to do during this process was we not only had to develop the weather model, we had to make improvements to our visualization software to support the high resolution model to make it play smoothly. So part of that in the past was we created these custom smaller grids that were able to play in the software. With this new model release, you're actually able to play the entire model, the CONUS model grid within the software today, which is something we weren't able to do in the past, and that's the reason we're able to offer a nationwide model now. So as an example of that, if I'm in Pittsburgh and I'm broadcasting, and Hurricane Michael or something like that is coming along the Gulf Coast, I can show that high resolution model along the coastline rather than having to resort to a low resolution model to show my viewers what may be happening in different areas. Yeah, absolutely. So you can show, you can zoom in directly to your DMA to be able to show the high resolution weather, and then you can move over toward the Atlantic to show a potential tropical weather event. And if there's another event out west, you can move out west to show that all at the same resolution, the same model domain, the same model output. Let's talk about this then in specifics of what are we providing with the model. So we're providing a three kilometer version of the model that is going to go out 66 hours, correct? Correct, the three kilometer goes out 66 hours from the model initialization time. And we're also providing a 15 kilometer version for those folks that wanna go out a little bit further than 66 hours. So the 15 kilometer version of the model goes out 96 hours fully. We've deliberately decided to do some products with a five minute interval, others on a 15 minute interval. Why? The first reason is for accuracy and precision. And those products we've chosen are primarily the precipitation driven products. So providing those at five minute outputs provides a more accurate or precise forecast. And secondly is for visual performance. We've found that the products look a lot better at five minute time steps when you're animating than they appear when they're at 15 minute time steps. So accuracy and visual appeal are both covered by that change. And so that's one of the things that we can do in our system is we can create interpolation that even goes lower than that five minutes to smooth it out to one minute. So you can take the 15 minute output products and interpolate those down to one minute or the five minute interpolate those down to one minute. Again, that five minute resolution on the precipitation just makes that one minute animation look far better.